Apple Maps is a mapping service developed by Apple and is the default map system for iOS, PadOS, macOS, and watchOS, providing directions and estimated times of arrival for driving, walking, cycling, and public transportation navigation. Many of you should be more familiar with Google Maps, but Apple Maps has significantly improved in recent years, and I would consider them now a strong competitor to Google Maps. It offers a user-friendly interface, accurate navigation, and a focus on privacy, making it a popular choice for many Apple device users today. In today's video, I will show you how to fix your iPhone Apple Maps if it's not working as well as it should be. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Steph and in this channel, I teach you quick daily tech tips that make your life a little easier. So Apple Maps is named as Maps on your phone. The most common issue with Apple Maps not working is because your location services are not turned on. Location services refer to the ability of a device like a smartphone, tablet or laptop to determine its current geographic location based on technologies such as GPS or Wi-Fi. So go to your settings and scroll down until you see privacy and security. Go to location services and make sure it is switched on. Then scroll down to maps and make sure you allow location services. Also turn on precise location because this allows Apple Maps to more accurately determine your location, which is important for navigation. Now you can check if your location is accurate. If not, we have to reset your phone's connection. The fastest way to do this is by turning on and off airplane mode. To do this, swipe down on your phone and you should see an icon on the top left on your control center that resembles an airplane. Tap on it and the icon will turn orange. Wait for a few seconds and tap on it again to reconnect. If this still does not work, you may have to force reboot your phone. To do this, press the volume up button, the volume down button and hold on to the power key until the screen goes black and once the Apple logo comes on, you can release the button. Go to your Apple Maps again to see if the location is accurate and working this time. I hope today's video was easy to understand and do leave a comment below if the video helped you in any way. If you like more of such videos, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Until the next video, I'm Steph, take care and bye bye.